Hello guys, today I want to demonstrate to you how I've tried the tutorial by Marcel Posiot using his own new package to query the database with OpenAI, which allows you to query the database in words instead of SQL queries. So for example, you could do something like DB ask how many users do we have? And AI would transform that to the actual select query. I've tried it with OpenAI and let's see what it does. Notice using AI is not free. It has free usage, the open AI, and I do have API key for free usage, and I will show you how much it costs at the end of the video. But warning, if you use AI heavily, it may cost you in the end quite a lot. Anyway, using this package by Marcel Posiot is very easy. You just do compose require beyond code Laravel ask database. Under the hood, it uses another package, OpenAI PHP Laravel, which is a package by another well-known person in Laravel community, core team member Nuno Maduro. So their kind of combined teamwork results into this. So I just do compose require, then publish the vendor. So vendor publish with tag ask database config. Also, I need to publish vendor publish and choose the open AI service provider. No, this one, so number nine. And that's it, then I have config open AI which looks like this in Laravel repository. The repository itself is just a default Laravel project with users, some users with fake data seeded to the database, in total 110 users. And that's it, from there we can ask the database. I did that with Tinkerwell, which is ironically or not another tool by Beyond Code by the same company. I decided to expand it a bit, DB ask, not just how many users do we have, but with email ending.net. Laravel Faker, what it does with users' email, it adds at the end example.com, .org, or .net. So how many out of those 110 are with .net ending? This is exactly what I asked. And also I asked for a query. So DB ask would return the actual result from the query and method ask for query would return the actual query. So launch that. I had to wait around five seconds or so, but see the result. We have 43 users with email ending.net and this is the actual query. Fascinating, isn't it? For that, I've used my account on OpenAI. So in .env file, I've added the secret API key from openai.com platform and the thing that I told you, usage. So they give you free credit for $18 in my case. And just from running a few queries, the bill for free trial usage is five cents, which is model usage. If we expand that, five requests, and some technical details transforming that to tokens. So yeah, if a few requests cost a few cents, quite easily it may turn into dollars if you do that on a production server with 100 users using that prompt and asking the database. So be careful with that. And final question maybe to you guys, let's discuss who would use that package. It's a cool use case of OpenAI, which just transformed the text into SQL query. And by the way, your database is not offloaded to OpenAI. What OpenAI does, it just transforms the text into SQL query. It doesn't see your database. But anyway, who would use that package? In some comments on Twitter and on Reddit about that package, I've noticed the usages. So for example, if someone non-technical wants to query the database, for example, imagine a manager wants to get some report and they don't need a developer for that anymore because they can ask something like this and AI would transform that into SQL query. Not sure how reliable it would be for more complex queries. If you are interested, you should try and see. And another notice, another warning about security. So this package restricts specifically the security stuff like insert, delete, and other, where was that? I've been reading that. So yeah, this one. So drop, update, insert, alter, and similar ones are restricted by default. You can enable them at your own risk, but by default they are disabled. So it's just for selecting the data mostly. What do you think about this package and in general about the usage, such usage of AI in its current stage? Would you use something like that yourself? Let's discuss in the comments and see you guys in other videos.